Morning or evening if you're watching this in the evening. Um, how are you guys finding these videos by the way? Do you prefer videos just being able to listen and watch something or do you prefer something to read? Let me know, it'd be interesting for me to know if you prefer seeing my mush or reading something. Um, I, I want to speak a little bit more about nutrition. The reason that I tend to know so much about nutrition, I like to speak about it a lot, by the fact it being one of the key major elements in my clients and other people achieving the goals, is a lot of you probably already know this, is I'm a type 1 diabetic. I have to be knowledgeable about nutrition. I have to know. This sounds sounds bad far-fetched, but if I'm not on the top of my game and on point my nutrition, I could get really ill and it could lead to worse things. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's why I, I make it my job and my life to know about my nutrition. Only, not only to benefit myself, but to get my clients and other people results as well. So... <clears throat> going to go into a little bit more about nutrition. I was speaking to one of my clients the other day and she said I think she'd heard something or read something and watched something um, about a guy who I think it was seven or nine cookies he was eating daily and he was still losing weight. Now it's it's very hazy like, like the nutrition side of things and it's not well known enough. The guy that was eating these seven or nine cookies would have been losing weight because it's a simple equation of being in a calorie deficit. It's a simple scientific equation. People are still thinking it's the, the foods that you eat that, that cause the weight loss and stuff like that. It's not. This is something that I want to get uncovered and or these sort of myths that are preaching in a way. Um, it's, it's not the foods, okay? The simple equation of, of weight loss, fat loss, is being a, in a calorie deficit. Okay, so this guy would have been eating these cookies. Some people think, oh, you, you can't lose weight on cookies. Yes, you can if you're in a calorie deficit. Okay, the flip side of that is so we're not just going off aesthetic reasons. How you look is how you feel in your health and stuff. That's where your food choices come into play. Okay, so you're looking at your macronutrients, your breakdown in your food, your carbohydrates, your fats, and your protein, your fibre from your fruit and vegetables. So obviously that's for that's for health reasons. Performance in the gym which is always a key one, and feeling good. Yeah, you could lose weight on being in a calorie deficit with these cookies like this guy, but it would have felt shit, pardon my French, and if he was exercising, he wouldn't have had no energy. Okay? So that's why we look at where your calorie intake is coming from, so the sort of foods. So it's not the food itself that's going to cause this weight loss or fat loss. It's been in a deficit, but for health reasons, to feel good, to be energetic, to have your performance in the gym, that's why we choose the more macronutrient, the better food choices, so to speak. So it's just something that I want to still, not a lot of people know the very kind of misconception because of the way that the industry is in the media thinking that it is the foods and it's not. So it's just the fat loss is a simple equation of being in a calorie deficit. Hence the reason that I get all my clients, I set them up on apps like MyFitnessPal and put them in a calorie deficit because <laughs> I like to make sure that everything's on point people some people don't agree with it and they can go and get into a deficit get themselves in a deficit without tracking the food intake that's fine with my clients i just like to guarantee these results and that's the way you can guarantee them okay so that's just something that that i wanted to kind of uncover so i hope it's helped you guys enjoy your day peace